once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. The reason the killer did an Im ah, fuck. I already fucked up reading. An imitation murder is a reason other than uh f uh oh, fuck doc damn it. Falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Alright, so before we continue on, welcome back to more Dang and Rumpa 2. Man, it's been a while since I think this is the first time I ended a recording session in the middle of a trial. So I'm a little I'm a little spotty on some of the details, but what I remember is that, uh, what I remember is that Komaeda was acting like Komaeda again. Fucking, um, well, what's your fucking name? Fukihiko was, was trying to solve murders, but, you know, he's a newbie at this, so he failed. Mikan's acting pretty fucking weird, I'm not gonna lie, especially when she's like, I couldn't possibly do that, I'm super slow. It's like, come on, Gundam was being an asshole, and, uh, you know, Sonya and, and whatever the fuck, uh, fuck, Ku uh, Kuichi, what the fuck is his name again? Kazumichi, or something like that? Kazuichi, that's his name. He was being stupid too, along with Kane, and Nekomaru's not here because he's injured? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. So what are we talking about, Komaeda? Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Oh, okay, alright. So the imitation was, was like a spur-of-the-moment thing. I think that's what we're talking about here, right? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! <laughs> Koma, it is such an asshole. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. If I remember correctly, the lion was uh, tied to a tree? That's the one he And like pierced with the uh, arrows and shit, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but... That attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Alright. Where the hell are you guys going with this? Yoko's murder wasn't planned. I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but... Aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Well, Hyoko went to the music venue to uh, fix her sash. Yeah, why did she go to the music venue? You're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. 
While Hiyoko went to the music venue, if that's the key to all the- wait, what? I had a stroke when I read that. Jesus Christ. While Hiyoko went to the music venue, if that's the key to all this- uh, By the way, my dog is in the room right now, and he's not being quiet. Hey dog, shut up. I need to find out no matter the cost. Even if it costs my life. Make your argument. Well, she went to the music venue because, um, because, uh, Son Sonya, that's her name, right? I was about to say Sonja. Sonya told her to, uh, fix her, fix her shit. Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. Oh wait, no, that's a- yeah, the blue ones are agreeing with their statement. My bad. My bad. My bad. The only thing I can think about is the motel room key because Yoko had it on her. And she, uh, she left by herself. So there's like, a, there's no signs of a struggle in her room and all that shit. Alright? So she left on her own free will. that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. There you go. I agree with you. Isn't this like my second time agreeing with you? Or something like that? It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Kyoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Kyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. What? What's that? What's this shit about? Are you saying my gut was wrong? This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Are you really doing this because you want to look cool? Please, Kane. There's a reason you're fucking stupid. No, that's not the issue. Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! This is nonsense. What am I doing? Step ladder, candle, Mikon's account. Well, I'm gonna go with Sonya's account, right? Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! Oh, no! Shit! I fucked up. Crap! Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! There you go. Back up, Akane. Back up for like two seconds. Think about what you're saying before you say it. Kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah. It's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. 
Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. That's a little extreme. Hajime, now's your chance. God damn it. Admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Kazuichi, your uh your your dark side is showing a bit. Hell no. <laughs> I like that. Then the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hioko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hioko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. Co coincidence When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. You know, I'm just going to do that real quick to use that for the thumbnail. There you go. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed a hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hyoko. Damn, just thinking about that, just without hesitation, went up and slit her throat in like 2.5 seconds? That's pretty fucked up. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. But I think, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, in the last episode, I think that's what I was saying the whole time, was that the sequence was different, right? Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. D do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? Didn't we... Am I... Didn't we talk about this last time? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. Yeah, wait, I'm trying to think. Didn't we talk about this last time and I shut you down for that shit? But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. What? I'm confused. What the fuck did you say to me? There's no way she could have faked her death. There's no way she could have committed suicide. What? You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. Oh, I just realized. Okay, never mind. I'm, I was still thinking about it. it <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm a little tired today, but fucking, yeah, he's saying there's no way she didn't commit suicide. I thought he was saying there's no way that she did commit suicide. I was so confused. No, wait a minute. 
If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. Strange. That's very strange. What are we talking about right now? This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, they're still an important clue left on what complete, uh, what we completely overlooked. Just as Nagato said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why? Why were there any footprints on the... Huh? Again, it's been like a day... Oh! Oh, okay, I see what you're thinking. Yeah, if there was footprints, if there was footprints, they would be on the steps of the fucking ladder. Nice job, Hajime. Even I didn't think about that. Use the step ladder to hang herself. It's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah, that step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Naito, come on, Ada. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I like lost my voice in the middle of saying his name. Jesus. Naito, come on, Ada. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Hmm. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach the hidden truth, it's all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there were some hidden clue in the video, should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who can actually who can actually I'm the only one who actually saw the video. So I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from this debate thus far, which, to me, I forgot a bunch of shit, uh, I should be able to figure out what was strange. Okay. Let me... Can I, can I review my clues? Triangle, square, square? Yeah, square, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think Madakuma Files can help me. Blood on shoes. Key. Candle. Surveillance. Smudge on the floor. Mikan. Da da da. Let me check again. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, there's no blood on the side of the uh, step ladder. The black curtains in the background. No, I'm clicking on the step ladder. You fucking, you fucking idiot. The step ladder. There you go. That's right. I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side there was a blood stain. Right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is, the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, 
The only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. What? I'm so confused as to where the fuck they're going with this. And I think it's because I, like, I literally stopped playing this game for, like, what, a week? Right in the middle of the case, which, you know what, I should never do that again. I should, d d god damn it, I fucked myself over. Wait, are you saying there were two step ladders? But where would you find another step ladder? There was only one step ladder in the music venue. Then one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Is it okay to say that? Um, what are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said that the stepladder was at all a different pl- Oh wait, what? I- what? Chiaki said that the stepladder was at a different place, but... If that's the case, the thing that's different between the video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. What? I'm so confused. What are you telling me right now, Hajime? What the fuck am I doing? Uh... Okay. Well, F. Okay, it has something to do with F, okay. I. Okay. G. Nope. What the fuck are we looking for? What's this, L? What? Okay, something, something with film. Uh... Nope. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Come here. Shit. Um... I'm so confused. Alright, filming. That's what we're going for. It seems. Damn, we're gonna have a lot of collisions over here. Uh, shit. Give me an N. Filming. Oh, filming curtains, right? No? She's going for that black curtain thing, right? Uh, that's what I think. Okay. What the fuck? What is happening here? Oops, my bad. I have no idea what the fuck I'm solving here, to be honest. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, filming location. Alright, that's what we're going for. Now, now that I have a clue as to what the fuck. Alright, where's the end? Come on, give me the end. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. Caught it in time. Filming location. Alright. Besides the stepladder, the filming location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. 
But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Alright, now that they said the filming location thing, I'm pretty sure I know who did it. And I'm really disappointed in it too. <laughs> oh man, no! Why has it come to this? In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else, what the killer do to the surveillance camera unit? They destroyed that shit. My dog is being noisy again. Zero, go sit down. Yes, my dog's name is Zero, by the way. I have like three dogs. It's crazy. Technically, I have four. Because I have three little chihuahuas and a pit bull in the backyard. I love my animals. I, I take care of them every day. I pet them and I feed them and I clean them. Question one. Which part... How do I slow down? Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Uh, I'm gonna go with both. No! <laughs> Alright, so they tamper with the camera. The monitor, I'm trying to think what they mean by the monitor. I guess they meant like the monitor that we have in the, uh... Well, we have that we had in the uh, in the hospital. Oops! What? <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! That was my bad. All right, come on, Hodge May, diving in the fucking matrix and shit. Wow, this make me dizzy a little bit, just a little bit. Question two. Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music video or music video? Music video? Uh, fuck. I'm gonna say no, no, not music video. My bad. Hospital, 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 hospital. Fucking hospital. I'm gonna do that one. Oh no! God damn it! Huh? At the music venue, not video. Whatever the fuck I was saying. I'm not good under pressure. I mean, technically I am, but. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I saw that coming and I didn't react to it. Alright, whatever. Fuck this game. Alright, Hodge, man. Why'd you slow all the way down? I didn't tell you to slow all the way down. Oh, shit. I think, I think I'm really fucking this up because I'm tired of shit, to be honest. Okay, question three. What did the killer do while the camera from the music venue... What? What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue? Uh, they took it with them. I'm probably wrong about this. Oh no, what? I'm right? Okay. I have no idea where they're going with this. Because I don't know how they would fuck with the camera, but I know who did it. Like, I'm positive I know who did it now. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. At least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. Wait, really? Is that the case? Hold up. Show me show me that truth bullet. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah. See the re wait. No, there's a camera right next to it. What the fuck? Huh. I guess it was just something that slipped my mind. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. They smashed it? The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was fucking flipped it over? Destroyed it? I see! The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. 
As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. So... What? So when was Ibuki killed? And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing was amazing enough. Which means, even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitted to the hospital, the range would have been pretty limited. If that's the case, where the video film? All right, where the video film to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? All right, okay. The only possibility is that place inside that building. Yep, that's where Chiaki was getting at. Really? Do we really need a gambit for this? Even I know. All right. Um, what was it called? Communication room or whatever? Right? I think that's what it was called. Something like that. Or conference room, or something like that. I don't know. F? What the hell we need an F for? We need an F. Wrong button. Okay, conference room. I'm sorry, I'm having I'm having like a moment right now. A moment where I forgot how to spell what the fuck I'm looking for. Got it. Got the conference room. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Damn it. Damn it. I didn't want it to be true, but it's true. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. They use the black curtains. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer did. Killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make it clear what that work was. Oh, we got to make our arguments for this. All right, so I'm not. It's pretty obvious who did it now. God damn it! God damn it! There's no way the conference room. Shut up, Mekon. Shut up, Mekon. You're, you're not you're not helping yourself right now. Did the conference room look like the music venue? Wait. Did the music venue look like the conference room? Shut up, Kazuichi. Trying to think. Make some sort of set. They might have tampered with the camera. No, not tamper with the camera. Still can't believe he mixed up the filming location. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Oh, well, that's mean. 
I would like to disagree with that. But I'm gonna speed ahead to Sonya. This is like my third time agreeing with her. What? What are you talking about? Wouldn't the curtains be considered like some sort of setting up something? Oh wow, I have one more. I have one more go around. And the music menu looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? What? You're lying to me. Damn it! Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the... Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Or they might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming location. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. I'm gonna disagree with that one. <laughs> no! Alright. Damn it! Alright. I guess we agree with Kazuichi then. Which place was it? Did the conference room look like the music? Or did the music venue look like the conference? I thought it was the other way around though, to be honest. What the killer did was... Make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... The same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Alright, Chiki, where are you going with this? Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. It's gotta be that. Uh... Okay... Candle? I can prove it with this! Probably with the dim lighting, yeah. You're referring to the candle and the music video, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But... Wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but... The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. God damn it, Hajime, stop beating around the bush and just say who did it. Shit, man. If I found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. Fuck off, Kamaeda. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. 
the incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime, it's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard, uh, bus wait, what? I feel like I heard Bayside cops say that before. <laughs> Bayside cops? What the fuck? Hajime. But isn't this the other way around? If Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, I'm gonna assume that she was already killed the night prior. No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue, which means that uh, there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been Ibuki at the music venue. I see. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. Well, I mean, their disguise worked on me. I think the first thing I said when I saw that video was, Is that Ibuki? What the fuck? The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. Yeah, midnight. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to reach Ibu uh, reach to rescue Ibuki. Uh, to rescue Ibuki. At the moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set that trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video. There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I know who the killer is, man. It, it sucks. That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. It was me! <laughs> Why? Why do you make me do this, damn it? <laughs> no. I don't wanna. You can't make me. But I got a time limit, so I have to. You're the only one! <laughs> You're the killer, aren't you? <laughs> 